Hey guys, Larry here. This hat made me look smarter. I just wanted to read some scripture to you while I was in the mood. I don't know how much memory my phone's got. Look the globe back there, the one-eyed wonder weasel globe. Got his mask on, he's afraid. He's believing all the lies. Look here, turn your Bibles to Job chapter 38. And it's pretty good scripture if you want to listen. If you don't, you know, click on something else. Yeah. It's funny, I, I, my silliest video I ever made, nothing to it at all. I was just baking bread, and I'm like, ooh, I like baking bread, and I want to put butter on it. Just bloop, it was a couple minutes or whatever, seconds, I don't know. Short video, but it got more views than any video I ever did. Any truth, anything. If I say the truth, I get like 14 views. If I say something stupid, 295 views. On Facebook now, I can't even comment on anything that's got anything to do with truth. If you post something about making some uh, chili or something for your supper and post a picture of your dinner, I can comment all over that or put a picture of your cat. I can comment on cat videos, but I got one buddy that's a flat earth dude throwing out some good stuff. I can't even read the comments. <sighs> hey, Job 38, look at here. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Words without knowledge. Hmm. Woo, that sounds like MSM. Yeah, it's sidetracked. Three, gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee an answer, thou me. Where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. Well, how do you put foundations on a spinning ball? I don't know, y'all. Five, who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who hath stretched the line upon it? The line, stretching the line around the ball? What? Hmm. Six, whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, or who laid the cornerstone thereof? Well, that would work out really good with a spinning ball. Cornerstones and foundations and all that. <laughs> Makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, let's just, let's go. Seven, when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy, or who shut up the sea with doors when it break forth as... If it had issued out of the womb. Antarctica is not a pole, y'all. It's a bowl. Just saying. Eight. Or who would shut up the sea with doors? Nine. When I made the cloud, the garment thereof, and thick darkness and swaddling band for it, and break up for it my decreed place and set bars and doors and said hitherto shalt thou come but no further and here shalt thou pride here shall thy pride waves be stayed it, he's talking about Antarctica I do believe hast thou commanded the morning since thy days and caused the spring, day spring to know his place that it might take hold the ends of the earth that the wicked might be shaken out of it. It is turned as clay to the seal, and they stand as a garment. Wow! When you look into that verse, it is turned as clay to the seal. Do you know what that means? In the prodigal son story there in Luke, when the prodigal son died, Father, not father, dad, because we have no fathers on this earth. We have one father. <laughs> oh, God Almighty. But his dad, he said, Dad, give me everything. It's mine. Dad's like, all right. And, and he went out and he partied and rented limousines and screwed hookers. And he had a good old time. Bar hopped, went to the clubs, probably did a little bit of drugs. Farmikia. But when he come to not, he found himself begging, feeding pigs and eating the good food out of the slops because they fed the pigs everything. And when he was feeding the pigs, if you seen a piece of steak in there, you could get it and rinse it off and eat it or whatever. The boy was hungry. He was broke. 
And he finally came to his senses, and he said, I'm going back to my father's house and just ask him if I can just be a servant. Just let me be a slave. And when he came, his father was looking for him. He was always looking for him. When he seen him afar off, he ran and hugged him. He said, boy, I've missed you. He gave him a robe. And you know what else he gave him? A ring. And that was like his credit card. You could go to town and you could buy some stuff and they would drop some wax. And then you would push your ring in it. And that was your insignia ring. And can you imagine what that would look like? It would look like a flat plane with upturned edges with Antarctic being all around it. That's what that scripture just said. That's how God formed the world. Antarctica ain't a pole. It's a bowl. Later, guys.